subcutaneous infusion of fluids or hypodermoclysis. Mr. Mahesh has advanced cancer of pancreas. Mrs. Lakshmi is his wife and caregiver. Good morning, Mahesh. Good morning. I'm nurse Sajan. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling very tired. He is not eating anything, brother. Doctor has advised to give on subcutaneous fluid. Okay. Requirements for the procedure: a tray containing one sterile tray with lid, sterile cotton swabs, one intravenous solution, normal saline 500 ml, one IV set, one SV set number 23, one pair of clean gloves, antiseptic solution, adhesive tape, one small Macintosh, one kidney tray. Check IV solution. Check the infusion container for sediments, turbidity, change in color, and expiry date. Wash hands with soap and water, and wear clean gloves. Remove the outer backing of IV solution container. Remove the protective cap at the entry point. Then remove the outer cover from IV set and remove the protective cover at the entry point. Spike the solution container with the IV set without touching the entry point. Partially fill the drip chamber by squeezing it till half. Remove the needle of IV set. Then release the roller clamp and allow the fluid to move through the tubings until all air bubbles have disappeared. Close the roller clamp and recap the needle and hang the IV solution. Open the scalp vein set and connect it to IV set. Allow fluid to move through the tubing to the tip of the needle. Disconnect the scalp vein set from the IV set and keep it in the tray. Provide a comfortable position and select the site which are anterior aspect of upper arms, anterior chest wall, anterior abdominal wall, anterior aspect of thighs and scapular area. Place a small Macintosh under the arm. Cleanse the entry site with an antiseptic solution. Use a circular motion to move from the center to outward and leave it to dry. Take the scalp vein set and hold the needle by the wings. Remove the straight cap of the needle. Ensure the bevel of the needle is facing upwards. Pinch the skin with the non-dominant hand and insert the needle at 30 to 45 degree angle into the subcutaneous tissue. Release the pinch and support the needle against the skin with the non-dominant hand. Secure the needle to the skin with adhesive tape. Date and time should be mentioned on the tape. Remove the needle from the IV set and connect to the SV set using an aseptic technique. Release the roller clamp on the tubing and titrate the infusion to the prescribed rate. Infusion rate should be 1 ml per minute, that is 20 drops per minute. Bring back all the used equipments and dispose as per protocol. Ensure patient is comfortable. Document the procedure including the date, time, site, scalp vein set size and the patient's response. This finishes the procedure for subcutaneous infusion of fluids. Points to remember. Maintain aseptic technique during the procedure. Check the site of infusion for signs of infection like pain or redness. If there are any such signs, the infusion site needs to be changed. If there is no signs of infection, the site of infusion can be used for up to 7 days. Normal saline is the most suitable IV solution. 500 ml to 1500 ml of fluid can be administered over 24 hours at one site. The quantity of fluid to be given depends on the needs, the general condition of the patient and the stage of the disease. The mild edema in and around the site of infusion is normal. Subcutaneous infusion can be safely given in home care settings also. The caregiver needs to be trained in handling the infusion after it gets over.